This is video only for XRP holders. Keep watching this video to find out more so that you don't miss out on an excellent opportunity to win a giveaway of 120 XRP tokens at the end of this month. Hey guys, welcome back to Whiteboard Crypto Update, the best spot for your daily dose of everything XRP and cryptocurrency. In today's video, we will talk about XRP's future, so be sure to stay focused as you surely don't want to miss out on this. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell, so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. Binance CEO Chengpeng Zhao believes that crypto adoption will expand this year, as governments worldwide progressively take more prominent roles in regulating digital assets. In a new interview, the co-founder of the world's largest crypto exchange platform says that the lawmakers across the globe are increasingly being drawn to the crypto industry in 2022, which is a potential sign of upcoming adoption. I believe that by 2022, we will see authorities attempting to attract this industry. That I believe is one of the most fundamental things we observe. Several governments, including the United States, have issued executive orders to create their stablecoin. Dubai established a regulatory framework and granted several licenses to significant firms, which is crucial as well as obtaining permits in Bahrain and other countries. We're seeing it. And now we're seeing it in France, Portugal, Sweden, and Gibraltar. All of them are very favorable about crypto, which I believe encourages adoption. Zhao also mentions that industrial breakthroughs that lead to new technology could help determine the future of crypto as the crypto market continues to experience one of the worst falls in history. Binance founder and CEO Chengpeng Zhao believes the crypto winter will last for a long time. The CEO of Binance indicated that the cryptocurrency sector follows a four-year cycle of two years of a bull market and two years of a bear market. Over the last seven months, the crypto market has lost $2 trillion in value. As a result of the loss, the company's market capitalization has dropped below $1 trillion. Bitcoin, the world's most valuable cryptocurrency by market capitalization, is one of the worst that has been affected. It is currently down 56% year-to-date, and its current value of $20,000 is barely short of its all-time high reach during the 2017 bull market. But the worst is yet to come, as data from Glassnode suggests that Bitcoin's value could plummet by another 64%. The asset will be worth less than $10,000 due to this. Despite this Binance CEO Chengpeng Zhao is upbeat and preaches positivity. There are many critics of Ripple and XRP, but also many fans, Chengpeng Zhao discussed several topics during his second AMA session on Periscope, including the listing coins from Binance, the Binance DEX, BNB, and its rising variety of use cases and more. One of the fascinating topics was XRP. During his AMA session, CZ stated that if he talked about XRP more, he would join the XRP army a world that has been used to define XRP's passionate supporters. He addresses that the issue XRP has a lot of detractors, claiming that the coin market caps is huge for a reason. Many guys complain about Ripple XRP token being highly centralized, etc. However, have a look at their marketing. As I've said, the markets vote first with their feet, and XRP is one of the most significant market cap coins for a reason. XRP according to Zhao is not a security. I believe most people are aware that XRP is being sued over whether or not it's a security asset. Our view is that they aren't, and until that is shown who we listed them he added. Fortunately, we dragged other exchanges to list them. He went on to say that society should not pass judgment. Ripple has been accused various times with centralization and more and has consistently denied such accusations. One of the last allegations against Ripple was that it allegedly paid its way the Coinbase. Again, Ripple took to Twitter to deny such a thing. Ripple's head of XRP markets, Miguel Viaz, said that Ripple didn't pay Coinbase anything to list XRP. Binance added Litecoin to its bin futures trading platform after its statement in January 2020 that it would list XRP on his futures trading platform. Even though the price of XRP began to rise hours before it was recorded, the same cannot be said for Litecoin. After Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, and Ripple. This is Binance 6 Perpetual Contract XRP. Binance, like others, is offering 75x leverage on these contracts. In the future announcement on January 6, 
XRP managed to reverse his fairish momentum and experienced rapid gains. These gains started a few hours before the official announcement, which Zhao claims was due to a PI. Furthermore, just now or after the XRP announcement, the ordered books were stacked with 400 million on both sides. However, the surge was short-lived as the price of XRP quickly collapsed against Bitcoin. Zhao still remains that there's no suspicious price actions related to the XRP announcement. And explain that such a move would be expected, as XRP is one of the top 10 cryptocurrencies traded on multiple exchanges with high liquidity. Ripple best known for his cryptocurrency XRP has been embroiled in a high-stakes legal battle with the Securities and Exchange Commission since last year. As some demand a crypto ban, CEO Brad Garlinghouse argues a large part of the problem is like a clarity in the US regulation of digital assets compared to other developed countries. He criticizes Bitcoin's energy use, but claims he is not fighting it in private with people like Elon Musk. In an appearance on CNBC Squawk Box on Wednesday, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse reiterated his dissatisfaction with the lack of clarity and us regulation of digital assets. He claims that a large portion of problem with crypto regulation in the United States is not the crypto players, but rather the authorities' lack of action compared to their worldwide counterparts. Ripple co-founder Chris Larson and Garland House were charged by the SEC by conducting an illegal securities offering in which they allegedly raised more than $1.3 billion through selling XRP. XRP is up to more than 300% yearly, although it has fallen from its year-date high. During the recent crypto crash, it was trading up nearly 8% on Wednesday morning, amid a crypto bounce which is more than 300% year-to-date. On Wednesday, June 2, 2021, Bitcoin had recovered from this big recent slump and was hanging around $40,000. There's a misconception about how these technologies can be used. Garling House added, there has been a lack of regulatory certainty in the United States. Other countries, G20 markets have spent time and effort, either through legislation or regulatory, to provide that transparency and certainty, allowing investors and entrepreneurs to engage and build. As of 2020, Ripple was number 38 on CNBC's Disruptor 50. According to the company, Ripple's On Demand, liquidity service employs XRP as a currency bridge, allowing payment providers and banks to conduct cross-border transactions considerably faster than they could on older payment rails. Despite the return of crypto volatility this month, Bitcoin is still down more than 32% for the most significant month drop since 2018. It and other tokens such as XRP have soared to new hides this year. Ripple holds most of the XRP tokens in circulation and only sells a small portion each month. XRP investors were alarmed by the litigation, making them feel they owed the security. Many XRP maximalists attempted to calm the market by claiming that because most XRP trade takes place out of the United States, the SEC's jurisdiction has no bearing on them and would have no impact on the price. However, they were mistaken. In a day is following the SEC lawsuit notice, XRP lost about 70% of its value. The cost of XRP plummeted from 58 cents down to just only 17 cents. Many investors expected XRP would go to zero, as the sentiment shifted to pessimistic. However, XRP demonstrated that the lawsuit could not prevent a significant price increase. The price of XRP has traditionally tracked the market for all coins, as a result when the altcoin market soared in March of 2021. So did XRP's price. Investors that bought at the bottom of the litigation meltdown saw their XRP portfolios increase by almost 1,000%. Here's a technical look at the situation. XRP is broken through the lows in June of 2021 and is now testing the high set in May of 2017 before a blow-off peak. If XRP can hold this level of support, it indicates that the bottom has been reached and that upward potential is likely. But how high might the price of XRP rise? Well, XRP has demonstrated that it moves in the lockstep with the rest of the market. And if the all-coin market bubble bursts, XRP will sort in newer heights. As we expect, Fibonacci extensions are a good predictor of tops in various financial markets. According to the Fibonacci extension, the top of the assets is at 4.236 extensions. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on XRP? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. 
Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video goodbye.